Hello, there's another modded Nerf gun video I've done over the Easter break. Uh, I did with the long shot because of the horrible range. I don't know if everyone has this problem, but the spring in mine was just so weak. I didn't get anything. And then with the air restrictors, and it just, it was horrible. I mean, I got like 20 feet. I mean, it was bad. So I did a couple mods with it. Took it apart. I did not paint it or anything. I don't, I don't really like to paint the big guns. I'm afraid, you know, I'll screw up the paint job or something. Which I already did a few times for the smaller ones. Um, I also took the jam door out. It was kind of painted to put back and I never really cared for it anyways. So, pull this back. And take this little clip out. On. I guess I'll just pull it out. Okay. So what I did with this is took out the air restrictors, which is really a pain for uh, the clip fed ones. I think most of them are like this. At least this one definitely was where there's this just long tube and you need to just tear the tube apart pretty much. Um, that's one way to do it. Or you can take, which is what I did, took a big uh, hammer and a long screwdriver and then you just like pound it out the air restrictor and it turns into like a hollow tube like you know it goes all the way through so that's what I did and uh, I saw a big improvement with the shots I mean when you look at it and like before you couldn't really see through the tube and um, when you shot you could just like if, if it, my hand was the bolt it would be like whew, it was real slow when it shot forward. The air restrictor really did a lot. Now it's just straightforward. I mean, that uh, it's it's so much better. So, let's take a few shots. I mean, this thing is actually pretty impressive. I didn't take any video of it beforehand, but I mean, still, this is about I want to say 30 feet. So just take a few shots. I mean that was that was a solid shot. I mean eh, okay. But you can hear that much louder um banging of the plunger in there without the air restrictor. I mean this is great. <laughs> So much better than it was before. I wish we were taking video of it before. It would have, it barely would have even made the step there, first like a uh, carpet step. So then the last thing I did, which is also a pretty like I'm just doing known mods, but they really do work. Yeah, picture the cock symbol. <laughs> um, so I took the, uh, the stock and did all that jazz with it to get it so that you can remove it. I wish I took off more though. It's still kind of a pain. I kind of need two hands. But you, um, there we go. So you're supposed to like sand off a little portion right there so that it slides out. Because before it was just, um, it just got caught in those little, uh, like lockers there. So now it's removable stock and take it out without having to physically take the gun apart. So. These are just, you know, minor mods I did too, but this is like now my favorite gun compared to, I never used it before, so, <laughs> really great improvement. Um, I mean, really, any gun that you just don't use, I would go for it and just try to make it better by, you know, taking it apart. I mean, it's better to try than to never use it anyways. So, that's it right now for my long strike. Um, one problem I always have, though. A friend of mine also has it where this thing just comes out so easily. Like, most people have to like pry it off. Like, why does it not stay? Like, I must have broke something in there. Anywho, that concludes my oh, long strike mods. That's, you know, again, simple mods though. Everyone does them pretty much when they mod a gun, but it really does help. So, now that shall be all.